Hi everyone, it's Claire here today with a new process video for the Killing Kit series. This time around I'm using my Wild Hair Kit leftovers from October 2017 and I'm making a layout inspired by this month's Counterfeit Kit Challenge. This month the team are using an inspiration kit from the HIP Kit Club um, and that features an exclusive patterned paper that looks a little bit like a clamshell design. What I'm doing is taking that as the inspiration for my layout um, and I'm going to create a clamshell design. If you want, you can use the same basic idea to create an entire sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Um, or like me, you can just take the inspiration and use it as the basis for a layout or card or whatever kind of project you want to create. I've used a one inch circle punch to create a stack of circles that I'm going to add directly to my cardstock. If you do want to create a background, um, you could just create this over the top of any cardstock that you have in your stash. Um, maybe use a piece that you don't particularly like anymore. Um, but here I'm adding it um, onto a sheet of white cardstock because I'm going to use that as the basis of my layout. You can see that I've added myself some guidelines across the page in pencil. Um, those are at half inch intervals and basically they just help me align the circles into place a little bit more easily. Um, you won't see those once the final design is completed. I'll be cutting my cardstock down to 8x6 which is the size that I use for all of my Project Life albums. Once I'd added all of the circles to the cardstock, I decided that I would try and secure them as well as add a little bit of texture by running the background through my sewing machine. Um, I've added a simple running stitch across the top of each line of circles. Uh, what you want to try and do if you're going to do the same sort of thing is avoid stitching down the top of the circles if you can. Um, I think I caught a couple of mine, but managed to be able to sort of lift them slightly. And one of the reasons that you should try and avoid this, if you can, is because you can lift the circles and add a little bit of texture um, and lift to your layout once you've finished. So if you do like that kind of layered design, try and avoid stitching through the top of the circles so that you can add all that lift to your layout. As you can see, I've now added a photograph from our holiday to Madeira last year um, and I'm now just cycling through some of the embellishments that were in my original kit to see um, what I'm going to use with that too. I've decided on a couple of quite small pink fresh studio cut aparts. I think they were originally part of a 6x6 six six paper um, and I think they're probably just a little bit smaller than 2x2 two two inches. Um, and I'm going to add to that um, with a couple of medallions that weren't in my original kit um, just to add a little bit of extra interest and a little bit of lift. You'll see that I also add um, a couple of small stickers from uh, Studio Calico, um, some phrase stickers from either Simple Stories or Pink Fresh Studios, um, just to add a little bit of extra interest. Um, none of those were included in my original kit, um, but I did use most of the embellishments from that kit, so um, I just wanted to add a little bit of extra interest to my finished layout. Um, I will be coming back to that stack of papers there on the left-hand side at some point, so do join me for future videos in the Killing Kit series um, and I hope that you've enjoyed the process video today. As always if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments box below or find me in the Facebook community group for the Counterfeit Kit Challenge.